Hey, it's Wild Blockchain Academics, and today we're going to go into Uniswap. Uniswap is the largest crypto DEX in the space, and if you don't know what a DEX is, it's a decentralized exchange. It gives you permissionless access to trade the financial service offered on Uniswap, which is built on the Ethereum ERC-20 contract. So you can trade ERC-20 tokens um, using Uniswap. What's so popular about De uh, DEXs, decentralized exchanges? First of all, you own full custody of your coins. You don't have to send your coins to exchanges and then hope that it doesn't get hacked. We've seen that with Mt. Gox, BitGrail, Crypto, like the list goes on and on and on. I could literally list thousands of them. Not only do you have full custody of your coins, you get access to some of the new and hottest coins because to try and list on Binance or Bitrex, it's crazy the amount of fees they want and the volume that these coins need to be trading beforehand to get on there. So with Uniswap, you have a lot of new coins coming which give you access to some of the hottest new coins on the market, obviously in the DeFi space. Not only that, there's no governing body. This is a decentralized exchange. Anybody with internet around the world can access the and start using Uniswap to trade their, their cryptocurrencies. So let's get into it. Um, let's go into the charts right here and then you can see all the liquidity, you can see the volume in the past 24 hours and that's the total liquidity as well. And then we have here the total tokens and that's down by liquid, that's going down by liquidity as well. So Ether, uh, Wrapped, USDC, Stablecoin, Tether, Stablecoin, DAI, Stablecoin, and then Wrapped, BTC, which is actually Bitcoin, uh, which is backed by the price of Bitcoin, but on the Ethereum network, hence Wrapped, BTC. And then you can see here some of the more popular coins. So how do you trade on here? Let's get right into it. Let's say you wanted some Chainlink. We'll go to Chainlink and then you can see Chainlink's been doing awesome, by the way. So congratulations for everybody who's been holding it. And I can see it just keep blowing up from here as well. So um, we're gonna trade some Chainlink. But before we do that, you can add liquidity to the pool, which actually I'll show you guys how to do that after we do the trade. So here is the Ethereum contract and you wanna keep that handy in my opinion because there is a lot, so if we go to trade on Uniswap, I think we may see the pop-up on here. Um, no, we won't. So sometimes it'll let you know that anybody can create a coin on Uniswap, anybody can name it Link. So you may be trading the wrong Link or you may be trading your Ethereum into the wrong coin with the same name because anybody could list it. So what I'd like to do is go to Etherscan. I'd like to copy and paste this and just make sure it's the same address. That's the same address I copied and then you can even actually go to back to the Uniswap uh, and then copy and paste the address right there and it'll bring you right to the link transaction. So now we have link and Ethereum. We'll change that over. And now we have Ethereum using Ethereum to buy link. So with one Ethereum, I can buy 55 link. And you'll see here that minimum receive is 55.14. And that is kind of important because when you're doing the swap, you gotta take in consideration that it takes some time for the gas to, you know, the transaction to complete. So if the price does go down, maybe Ethereum or Link, whatever it may be, then that is the minimum you would receive. And you can see here that liquidity provider fee, that's the fee for people providing liquidity. So you can swap out like here, and then you can see um, it'll say price, the minimum you'll receive, and then it, it, it uh, updated the price as well. So we'll go accept, and then you can see the new price and the new minimum we'll receive as well, and then the price impact and then the liquidity uh, provider fee. So we could confirm swap, but I don't actually wanna do that. Let's go back into um, here to see how we can add liquidity. So if you wanted to add liquidity, you would be adding Link and Ethereum, and you'd be getting an, uh, I believe, I think it was 0 0.003, we, we can check right here. So when you add liquidity, you will receive pool tokens representing your position. These tokens automatically earn fees proportional to your share of the pool and can be redeemed at any time. So you can see here, price and pool shares. ETH per link, 0.0179668, link per ETH, and then share of pool. So I don't have any link here, but you can see if I put 100 link and 1.79 ETH, my share of pool would be 0.01. I don't have enough ETH balance, nor do I have enough link, so we can't do that. But I just wanted to show you how you would go about um, adding to 
the liquidity pool. And then you can come here as well. I like this DeFi pulse and it'll show you like the pulse of the DeFi market and you can see how well it's been growing. And honestly, I think this market's poised to hit over $100 billion and then $200 billion this year as well. And you can check here the, um, the coins and it's actually organized in the amount of locked USD value. So in Maker, there's 4.2 billion. Ave, there's 3.2 billion. Uniswap, 2.9 billion. Very impressive. And you can see the total locked um, USD value there. So if we go back to Uniswap, you can come and you can literally exchange mostly any every coin on the RC20 network. And if you have a token address that's not shown here, you can paste it here. So we'll see that link pops up after we do that. And um, you can literally click a trade in, in and out of any coin that is on here. So we'll show you ETH to mana, same thing. You're gonna receive 7865 mana on the minimum if the price does fluctuate while the transaction's happening. And then you can see the liquidity provider receives this amount of fee. So if we swap that, same thing. That's literally pretty much it with Uniswap, how to use Uniswap, how to navigate it, and to make sure that you are using the right um, ERC20 token address so you're not sending funds to a random token wallet address or you're not just sending funds to a random scammer potentially. So that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you have any more questions, post them below and I'll see you guys tomorrow.